Hello and welcome to a new episode from Cycle Support Campus. Today I want to introduce the powerful desktop switch XGS1250 with 12 ports to you. It's a powerful switch for small business and content management applications. Let's see what's inside the box. The switch comes in an eco-friendly box which contains also the power supply, different plug faces, screws and plugs for wall mount, rubber feet for desktop mount and the quick start guide. Cycle offers the device with a limited lifetime warranty and a professional swap service. And now we know what's inside the box, let's see what you can do with this powerful switch. Here is an example of the home network or the business network you can use it. The switch offers four 10 gigabit ports, one is with SFP plus and eight normal LAN ports up to one gig. With the 10 gig ports you have connection to high speed storage locations or servers. For NAS devices you can also group ports and link aggregation together. To connect an access point you can use a power over ethernet injector so that the access point is powered. A Wi-Fi 6 access point feels also very well on the 10 gig ports as the high speed network connection revelates the high speed performance of the Wi-Fi 6. Your existing PC can be easily upgraded to a 10 gigabit connection using our PCI LAN card. To configure the high speed ports we are now going to log in to this device. Open the Zyxel One Network app and browse for devices in your network. On the list entry of the switch, click on the GUI symbol in the top bar. Log in to the device with the standard password and then change it to your own password. Note it down for later proposals. After finishing the login and password change process, you can see the new web GUI of the device. When you finish the login process successfully, you see the status page of the device, showing the actual firmware version and other statuses. On the top bar of the menu, you can see different settings for ports and VLAN, for example. Also, you can group together different ports with link aggregation and switch mirroring to collect data. Arrange network priorities under quality of service and set the IGMP snooping function. Under management you can also update the latest firmware version to the device. Click apply to save the changes to the device. If you have a question how to use or configure the device, please visit our support portal under support.cycle.eu. You can find more than 600 help documents in different languages, as well as a demonstration zone and the contact to the support team. We are done with our episode from Cycle Support Campus. That's all you have to do. Thumbs up and like the video and also subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our episodes. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. We're Zysel, and we're your networking ally.